I was born in Lubbock, Texas on May 10th, 2002. Who is that, your cousin? My father is Valentin Suarez Jr. My, mo my mother is Natasha Suarez, at the time Garza. Wow, go get in the picture. Over there, our time in Lubbock, my dad uh, started to use, um, use pills and uh, you know other drugs and he got addicted. I remember like one of the phone calls we had, I was angry and all I could tell him was, look, I, 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 I'm not really in a place that I could talk to you right now, but all I could say is um, start reading your Bible and uh, give your life to God. I graduated high school during COVID. Honestly, if it wasn't for COVID, I probably wouldn't have graduated. So, you know, there's that. I had to make my mom happy. So I went to community college knowing I did not want to go to college at all. And I remember the professor at the time, bless her heart, amazing lady, amazing teacher. She tried her best to help me and to tutor me and to just pour all of her math knowledge and wisdom into me. And then as the semester got on, she kind of realized this, this kid is not picking up on anything, <laughs> you know? I feel so bad, she tried so hard. She was like, this kid's not picking up on anything. But then I guess she talked to some of the students that know our box or whatever, so it's getting closer to the end of semester. And she was like, I heard you're a pretty, uh, pretty good boxer. And I was like, yeah. I was like, you know, I've done this, I've done this, I won that. And she was like, I'd probably stick to boxing. <laughs> and I was like, what? She was like, I think you need to drop this class. <laughs> and I was like, Okay, I'll do that, I'll do that for sure. I remember um, getting a call from my coach Edward uh, here from Lubbock. And uh, he was like, didn't you graduate? And I was like, yes sir. He's like, are you in college? And I was like, uh, I, I went for a little bit. And he was like, well, why don't you get your butt over here and uh, come fight in the Golden Gloves with us? And I was like, I mean, yeah, I, I really want to. Uh, I don't really know where I would stay. And he's like, boy, you know, your family's from here. I know you could find somewhere to stay. And I was like, okay, let me get back to you on that. And uh, I told my mom, I was like, hey, you know, Edward was like, come back to Lubbock and let's, let's get this thing going again. And she was like, well, where would you stay? And I was like, who loves me more than anyone and who, uh, just love who, who just loves being around Val, Michael, my aunt Angie. So I was like, I'm gonna call Angie and uh, see if I can stay over there for a little bit. Literally like just a couple seconds later, she was like, come on down, uh, let's go, let's, let's do this thing. So I got a black trash bag, filled it up with a bunch of clothes and shoes, and then grabbed my box and gloves and my trunks and everything, and I headed straight to Lubbock, Texas. City to city, from state to state, we taking over the shit. It's about that time, I know a lot of you been waiting on this, and I know a lot of fakers out there play a hating on this. But see to me, all of y'all sudden doesn't really mean shit, cause I hit licks, split bricks, drop hits, and I ain't never gonna quit. I know you didn't think I let you forget. The end of my junior year through my freshman year of college, me and my dad started getting back on talking terms because I held a lot of, uh, I guess, kind of anger against him. I, I'm, I'm back fighting. Things are going good. You know, me and my dad are getting this relationship back. And, you know, he's got this, you know, relationship with God. And it was just the best, like, 54 days ever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just... Honestly, everything was good. My relationship with God, my relationship with my dad, my dad's relationship with God, me boxing, you know, fighting the number one guys in Texas again. You know, it's like, this is everything that I wanted, you know? And then um, June 25th, 2021 came around. That was a Friday. It was just a normal day, man. Uh, I remember I got up, I went to morning practice, Went to my dad's house afterwards, or his apartment, and we just chilled. We went, you know, I took him to the barbershop, gave him a ride. He was cutting hair all day. We ate some Chick-fil-A. And then it was around five o'clock. I was like, well, I gotta head to practice, you know? 
And he was like, all right, Bo, you know, like, all right, I love you. Be safe. And we talked about like going to the movies later, you know, that night or whatever. And after I got out of practice and everything, it just was a normal, cool day. And then I remember going to practice and it was like around 7.30 or 8, I get out and uh, I see my phone is just blowing up with messages, you know, from uh, like my dad's friend Johnny, from my mom, from my Aunt Angie, just all these notifications, all these calls and stuff. And I was like, what the world, you know, that, that's weird. It doesn't happen every day. And then I call my mom back and she's like, hey, are you okay? Are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm good. I just got out of practice. She was like, hey, baby, um, uh, something happened with your dad. So I, I get in the car, go down the street to the hospital. And um, I, I see my aunt there. She's crying and stuff. And I'm like, are you okay? And she was like, yeah, are you okay? I'm like, I'm okay. You know, like I, the whole time I think I am everything's fine, you know what I mean? And then two people come in and they were like, yeah, well, he, he passed away. You know, the doctors asked me if I wanted to go see him, you know, and the, you know, but one last time, I guess, or, you know, see him in the hospital. I remember going in there um, and, you know, seeing my dad. And I just, even though he was passed away, I, I just, told him how proud I am of him, of the change he made in his life, the change he made in people's life around him. Um, I just was telling him how proud I am of him and how much I love him. And then I just saw, even though he was past, I saw a tear just go down his eye. And I was like, what the world? And it, I swear he cried right there. It was, it was the crazy, I don't know if I've ever told anyone that. So now I'm saying it on a camera. But now you know, I guess. I just was telling him how proud I am of him and how much I love him. But it was, it was rough. Everything going from up here to just, you know, down here real quick. I don't know, like at his funeral, like, I talked about how proud I am of him, you know? I'm still proud of him. He did, he did good, man. He did real good. So. I guess I'm not too sad, you know?